In this video, I'm going to go over how to add audio and video to your website. And um, we've already looked at graphics or images as a form of media, but now we're going to look at the other two. So first, um, audio, I've made it just so you can copy and paste this and then add it to your website just so you've got something always there. Um, it's not one line, it's actually quite similar to the image one, what the middle line is. Um, but this time you've got to write audio controls around it, so you have to make this audio tag. Um, now, and then the bottom part you just do slash audio, you don't write controls the second time, just once. So audio controls, close it off and then inside you write where you want to write your song. Um, videos are very similar, if you look at the difference, the only difference is obviously the name of the file and well the type, so mp3 is a, like a music file or audio and mp4 is video. Um, other than that, it's just the word, so audio controls just becomes video controls and you put video at the end, slash video rather than slash audio. And that's it. Um, if you copy and paste that, um, as long as you've got a video or audio in REPL, which I do in the tasks, um, that should work. Um, but let's say you don't have um, the video um, that you want to add. Well, you could just add it straight from YouTube. Um, so, oh, sorry, before we even get to that, um, this is how you would resize the videos. So um, here is width, so width equals 600, and that would just, um, well, make it 600 pixels that way, or you can change the height. I wouldn't do both um, because it's going to give you some weird shaped videos. And actually, I think it will ignore one of them. So just do one or the other. Um, anyway, as I was saying before, we'll look at videos. Um, so what you want to do is find a YouTube video you want. So let's say it was, um, well, anything about fruit. I'm gonna, the task is going to be about making a fruit website. Um, as the other tasks were. So just find the video you want and then you find the share button here. And um, from there you click embed and then you copy that link. Uh, well, it'll give you a bunch of new code and you copy that link, sorry. And then, um, and that's it, it'll just work. And um, this one would actually play the fruit video I found earlier. Um, but I'll go over that, um, how to do that step by step in just a couple minutes. Some other things to be aware of when we're talking about media. Now I've got images here again because um, before we only did like one image really, but let's say you wanted two images. They're going to be side by side. Now that might be okay, you might like that, but um, if you don't like that or if the task asks for it to be different, um, there is an easy and quick way to make them go underneath each other and it is this BR tag. Now what BR stands for is um, break and it just it makes a break in your page. So we've got two images there, all that's being added is this BR tag and it will just, it kind of, it just gives it, it's a line break. And um, you can use it for paragraphs and other things as well if you really want, but it will break it up. Um, you don't have a closing tag notice. There isn't a slash BR anywhere. Like um, you just write BR and put the little um, arrows around it and that is it. And it will push everything down. Um, last thing, now this might come up. It's not gonna come up in the first task, but it will come up um, in the next task. Um, where your images might be in folders. Your images, your video, your audio, any of that could be in folders. Um, and it's just to be aware that you might need to go digging for it. So if your images are in a folder like this, um, with carrots and potato images or whatever, you would have to do images slash and then write the name of the image. If you just wrote carrots1.jpg, it won't be able to find it. Um, REPL won't be able to find it. This works with the desktop versions of Notepad, depending if you're doing making your website in a different way as well. Um, it just can't find it. It can only look at files around it. So it has to kind of dig through the images folder and look, um, look for it. So to do that, you just do images slash or whatever the name of the file is. If it's called media, do media slash, and then the name of whatever the file is as well. And that should work. Um, that's it for the like the theory, and uh, I'm just going to quickly go over what the task um, actually is. So if you go to Teams, and then National Four Five Computing, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom under the Web Design section, and there's the Media bit. Um, um, okay. Um, so what we've got here is, there's not much here really, it's, just a, it's a blank page and um, all it's got is the title. Um, you need to make this, um, you need to make the 
will follow these tasks to make. I just realised I haven't added the image for you to follow, um, but I think you should be okay without it. I I'll add it in after. Um, so if we look at add a large heading that says stone foot, well, you would just use H1. The first few tasks are just revision. Add a paragraph that says stone foot are also known as drips, blah, blah, blah. Um, all of this is revision. Um, so look at previous tasks if you get stuck at that. Task four is new. I've made this little code box so you can just copy it and it's to add the audio um, to the website. So if you go put in the body, um, I'll indent that, I don't know why that's happened. Um, it's not really a big deal anyway. Um, I don't know why it's minimized. Right, here we go. Um, and then in these quotes, you've just to write the, the name of this file. So coconutsong.mp3. Make sure the capitals are the same. Um, that I think that matters. Um, and then if you run it up here, um, this will come up and it will just play the music when you press play and that's the coconut song um, do the same thing with a video really for cherry video um, it's a it's a video about cherries there's not much more to say there um, what else um, and I think that's the that's the task really oh and task six is so task four is to add the audio track. Five is to copy and paste this and just add the video track. I don't think that should take long, it's right there. And six is just to make sure you know how to do the YouTube way as well, which I'm about to go show. And it's just add any YouTube video you want. It can be about food or it can be anything else. I'm not really bothered as long as you can do it. Um, so how you do that is if we go to YouTube and I'll just look up uh, for root. Great. Um, I among us, I've never seen anyone play that before, so um, let, let's just go for that, right, um, I'll pause, I don't really care about the ads, and then if you go share, and then embed here, and then just control A, well, I think it slides it all anyway, control C, and then let's try looking at our code, um, and then don't put it inside audio controls, I was about to do that. Just copy and paste it. it, looks like a bit of a mess, but whatever, you can resize the width and the height if you really want to here. Run it, and there you go, that's how you do it. Um, right, hopefully this video was useful. Um, all the code is in the PowerPoints. Um, if you do need to look back, it's also in the task, so make sure to look at the task document here as well. Um, right, thank you for watching.